the Battle of Dulce. In 1979, there was a reported incident, a physical battle between extraterrestrials and humans. Now, it supposedly took place during a time when the United States government was tunneling into the ground near Archer Tuleta Mesa, not far from the town of Dulce, New Mexico, which is in the north of New Mexico near the Colorado border. The tunneling was part of an attempt to build a dumb facility, D-O-M-B, or a deep underground military base, similar to the one at Cheyenne Mountain. The U.S. has many such bases, including Area 51. The incident near Dulce was reported by Phil Schneider, who was said to have been a governmental structural engineer involved in the initial tunneling and construction process. He eventually gave a few public talks on the subject, and he appeared to be a very credible witness. Some of his fingers were missing on one hand, which he claimed resulted from them being blown off during the event. It is also said that he had a large scar across his chest, which he claimed was the result of the battle as well. According to his report, U.S. military forces accidentally surprised extraterrestrials during the tunneling process, and there was a shootout. Apparently, some extraterrestrials had long had their own underground base in the same spot, probably chosen for the same reasons. It is said that over 60 military personnel died in the shootout. Now, Phil Schneider claimed to be one of three people who survived. Then, he mysteriously died in 1996 in his apartment. The official report said it was a suicide, but there were strangulation marks on his neck, and to be blunt, quite a few people think he was murdered. The reality is that he had missing fingers on one hand and limited movement capabilities with his shoulders, which would have made it nearly impossible for him to have strangled himself. He owned a handgun, so if he wanted to kill himself, it seems like shooting himself would have been the only reasonable way to do it. So whether or not he committed suicide or was murdered is going to have to remain an open question, at least for now. Now, and this is important, no one at Farsight knows if Phil Schneider was telling the truth about the Battle of Dulce incident. We simply do not know. In fact, if Mr. Schneider was telling the truth, then disinformation would eventually be released to discredit him, and we have no way of resolving this. I have heard all sorts of things about Phil Schneider, both good and bad. So it is important to point out that this project is not about Phil Schneider. What we are looking for is any evidence that an incident such as that which was reported by Phil Schneider did in fact occur. And if it did occur, what happened? These are subjects that are suspended. Yeah, I feel sick to my stomach having to see this. And there's some kind of thing that's connecting them, that's holding them up. I mean, like seriously, this looks like what you'd see at a butcher. <sighs> we have done a great deal of research at Farsight that indicates that underground ET bases are a very real thing in our reality. There are lots of them, and they are not just located in different versions of our frequency-based universe. Apparently, they are everywhere, including our currently perceived reality, our here and now. And over the years, we have slowly learned why it is so important for the ETs who exist in those bases to stay hidden. Secrecy is a key element of everything that happens on this planet, but Disagreements are also a reality, and disagreements with ETs would obviously be possible. And it, it kind of webs out, so I'm going to draw just sort of a flash impression of how this sort of internals, if I was sort of just to give it a cut uh, through, the, through the underground uh, earth around it, it seems like there is a lot going on underneath this structure. There are networks and networks of tunnels. So, investigating whether or not there is an underground extraterrestrial base near Dulce, New Mexico, or a different location with similar physical characteristics to Dulce, and whether or not there was a battle at that location in or around 1979, or perhaps at a different time, seemed like a great mystery for us to pursue, and we did. For our purposes, we are simply going to call this the Battle of Dulce. I'm getting the sense of Stranger Things. Yeah, I've seen the last season, first episode type of thing, like that type of facility with this just energy. 
people everywhere. Uh, I'm also getting the feeling of earthquake. I'm deducting that. I'm deducting Stranger Things as well. I'm deducting earthquake. And I am deducting a battle or war. I'm feeling the energy of a, a head on collision here. Friends, it is now time for you to see and hear firsthand what actually happened underground in the American Southwest. Whether the exact spot was near Dulce, New Mexico, we don't know. And whether or not the incident happened exactly in 1979, we don't know. But for our purposes, we can call it that. The Battle of Dulce, circa 1979. Subjects that are kind of like laying out, I'd say they're probably like injured or harmed, like they're shouting out, like in some sort of pain or like they've been hurt from being in this area and being in this fight or commotion or disagreement that's happening. A military shootout with ETs underground somewhere on American soil. Did it happen? And if it did happen, what did it look like? Let's find out. Mm -hmm. 